Music Theory, a complete course for grades 1 to 5. Lesson 33, more than two ledger lines. Up until now, you've only learnt notes up to two ledger lines, but in this grade, you will now need to learn three or more lines that go above or below the stave. You can see here some notes on ledger lines that go above the treble clef. And here are some that go above and below the stave in the bass clef. To work these notes out for yourself, it is simply a question of counting the steps up or down on the lines or spaces of the ledger lines. In an examination, you may well be asked to write a note in another clef. Now many students have no problem in identifying the letter, but often make a mistake identifying which is the correct octave. Be sure to write exactly the same note, not just any note that has the same letter. The best way to make sure of this is to work out how far the given note is away from middle C, i.e. is it more or less than an octave or two octaves above or below. Now let's test to see how much you have learned. Can you name these three notes? The first one is a G sharp. The second one is a B flat. And the third one is an E flat. Now, in this pair of bars, can you say which note in the treble clef is exactly the same pitch as that note in the bass clef? The answer would be the second one. This is because the note in the bass clef is less than an octave above middle C. And looking at the notes in the treble clef, the second one is less than an octave above middle C. Now I'll see you in the next video by clicking the card on the left, or if you want more practice on this topic, click the card on the right.